Hi guys, it's been a while and the reason being is I've been very sick um, with some kind of nasty virus. I wasn't tested for anything so it could have been Covid, I don't know, but I've been eight days straight in bed. Um, I'm still not 100% but I just so want to get back into a normal routine so I know some of you are going to yell at me for doing this but um, I thought I'd do a tutorial today. If I struggle, then I can just stop, and you won't you won't know any difference anyway. So, but anyway, I'm back. Excuse me, because I'm still a bit, you know, um, off colour, whatever. But today I thought I'd show you how to do uh, my take on a prudent man agate. And I saw this stone, and I just absolutely loved the colour. So I'm going to try and replicate those colours as best I can. I'm not going to guarantee that it's identical, but close enough and I went all out with inclusions on this one so what you're going to need is some translucent clay I've got this big hunk of primo white translucent here and I've got some uh, copper sparkle um, mica powder I've listed this in my Amazon storefront linked in the description and I've also got um, some pearl mica powder some extra fine gold glitter. I've also got this um, embossing powder and it's a blue one. Now I ordered a set of these a long time ago on Amazon and I've tried to find them so I can list them in my shop but I can't find them anywhere. So I'm going to tell you that this is, this is optional, you don't have to use the embossing powder but I noticed in the the stone that I'm doing there's like some little speckles and the embossing powder kind of worked for that. I guess you could just use some blue glitter or something or even some very finely chopped up um, chalk or pastel or something like that just to give like a speckled look. So that's optional but I'm still going to use it in mine. And then I've got, um, oh and some gold mica powder as well and I'm using my Picasso alcohol inks and I'm going with blue green, black and manganese blue and I've also got this um, mixative copper alcohol ink as well and some liquid clay so this is basically chippy choppy but I'm not just throwing it all together randomly it's going to be kind of jigsawed together um, so I'm going to take some chunks so this first chunk is just going to stay translucent and I want more of this than the other colours that I'm going to show you. So more of just translucent, so I'll put that to one side. And then we're going to mix a little bit with um, <clears throat> some of the copper alcohol ink. So that will be for that. And then another chunk you can make this as big as you want this is just how much clay I'm using and I'm going to mix in three cut those three alcohol ink colors together in this piece of clay and then I'm going to take another slice um, maybe just a little bit more than that I think it's all approximate guys um, and that's going to be mixed with um, gold mica powder. You'll see as we go along. So let's go with the colours first. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to take a little bit more clay for that, I think. It doesn't seem quite enough. I'm going to take this first chunk of clay. Um, oops. Give it a bit of a roll just to smooth it out a bit, flatten it down a bit. And I'm going to take that um, copper mixative alcohol ink, give it a good shake just to get all those mica powders in there. Nicely mixed in. And I'm just going to drop one, two, three, four, six or seven drops of that on there. And I'm just going to brush that on and then that's all going to get mixed in to the clay I 
So that's that first chunk. Just let that dry. Get my brush, just give it a quick clean with some rubbing alcohol. Yeah, so I don't know. I came back from my cruise and uh, within a few days my hubby got sick. He he recovered pretty quickly. Um, I unfortunately did not. Um, but I'm just going to try my best today, okay? Right, now I'm going to take this next chunk. Oh, I did it on the wrong one, didn't I? Not that it really matters, but I'm going to need to... Ugh, derp. I'm going to need to add a little bit more trans to that. I should have put the other colours on this one, the other one, but never mind. You can tell I'm a bit all over the place, guys, so do excuse me. Right, so the other chunk of um, clay. And I had to mix these three colours to get the colour that matched what I saw in the stone. So I'm going with this blue-green first. I'm just going to go one two three four drops of that and this is approximate i didn't sit there and gauge it exactly but it's close enough and then i'm taking the manganese blue and i'm going to go one two three four five drops of that one and then the black just a couple of drops of black and i'm just going to mix it all together And I'm just going to have a quick look to see if I like the look of that. Um, yeah, I think I need to add another couple of drops of the manganese blue to that. That's a bit too greeny. So I'm just adding a couple more drops of the manganese blue. Just play around with it. It doesn't have to be exact anyway. Um, so I'm just brushing all that in. And that needs to be left to dry. But that's again going to get mixed. So there's quite a lot of faffing going in this in this one. But um, you'll see as we go along. Right, so there's that chunk. I probably should have worn gloves, shouldn't I? And then, last but not least, this little piece. And again, I think I am going to add a little bit more clay to that. You can tell it's not precise. I'm just kind of gauging it as I go. Um, and this one, I'm trying to think what I need to do with this one. Oh yeah, that just needs some gold mica powder on it. So we can just leave that for the time being. But we can go back to this and just start chopping. while wow, those other two pieces are drying. So chip, chop, chip, chop. Oh, I forgot to say, I need some white paint as well, guys. Let me just grab it, I forgot to get it. So you do need some white acrylic paint as well. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so roughly chop and then we're just going to add a little bit of paint. I don't want too much. I don't really like using paint in my clay. It can weaken it if you, go, if you get a bit heavy handed with it, but as long as you use it sparingly, it's fine. And I should probably get a clean brush because that's covered in blue alcohol ink now. I don't know. I, probably not a good idea for me to do a tutorial today but I'm trying my best so so just um, dab that paint all over the clay I don't even care if it doesn't get completely covered to be honest um, just want a little bit of white paint in that So 
So just give it a quick tumble. And then we need to let that dry. So there's a lot of, like I say, there's a lot of faffing around in this one. Because we're doing all these different um, colours of chippy choppy with different things in it. Give that a quick wipe. So we've got three piles that need to dry before we go any further with those. But then I've got this other piece of translucent clay here. I've probably cut way too much clay than I actually need to be honest guys, but no, no worries. I can either do a really big block or make two smaller blocks. Um, it's no biggie. So I'm just chopping this pile up as well. And then this is just going to get um, let me just move those out of the way and watch me forget something down the road but we'll see how we get on right I'm just going to add some gold mica to this that's as simple as that for this one um, I didn't want to go overboard with the mica powder in this because I find that if you use too much it kind of leaves the piece looking a little smeary so as while I do need some mica powder I don't want a great deal and as you can see I put way too much on that but oh well just move this out the way a bit heavy handed with that Oh dear, guys. <laughs> oh dear. Excuse my sniffles. I'll try not to sniffle too much. I'm sure that's highly annoying. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four piles. We've got this this that needs to be mixed, this that needs to be mixed, that needs to dry and that's ready to go pretty much. Um, actually I'm just going to give this another quick chop. Now I've got that mica powder on it. I don't want the chunks too big. I've probably got way too much of it as well. Oh well. Right. Okay, so we've got two chippy choppy piles ready to add our stuff to, but these need to be mixed. So I'm just going to go off camera and thoroughly mix the colour into these two pieces of clay. And I'll be back. Alright, so I'll mix those colours into the clay. And now it's just a case of chopping these up as well. Don't worry too much if it sticks together at this point. You can always go back in and rechop because we're going to add mica powder to this one. So don't get too concerned. And to this pile, I'm going to add the white, or the pearl white um, mica powder. Again, I don't want too, too much. But it needs to be enough to be able to separate those chunks. So I'll just do that for now. And if I need any more, I'll add some more. Just give that a quick tumble and separate any bigger pieces and I'm going to go back in and chop anyway 
Just give it a quick tumble. And another chop. And another quick tumble and drop some on the floor if you feel like it. It's always fun. Okay, I think should be good. So there's that pile. Try not to get them mixed up. And then this last little chunk that needs chopping as well. Get those bits off there. I hope this is all making sense guys, I mean, it's not exactly uh, measured out or anything, I just grab chunks of clay and start chopping, you make as much as you want or as little as you want. So there's that chopped, um, and in that one I'm going to add this beautiful copper. I love this. I only just got this the other day. Again, this is listed in my Amazon storefront. It's really nice. Just a little bit, just for now, to see how we get on. Give that a tumble. Yeah, my pieces are really sticking together. That's why I don't really like to um, precondition chippy choppy pieces because of this. Um, but because I had to mix colour in it, it got conditioned by default. So again, no biggie. Just get some mica powder on it and then re-chop. Like so. I think I might need a touch more mica powder on this one. That another tumble, break up some of those pieces. Give it another chop. And I think we're good with that. Alright, so we've got our four piles of chippy choppy. Let's go to the translucent with a little bit of white paint on it. And I'm going to add a little sprinkle of the white pearl mica powder on this one as well. Just a little bit. Give that a quick tumble. It's still a little bit wet but not too fussed. Okay. And then I'm going to add the translucent liquid clay to this just a little bit give that a mix and form this into a block oh no wait I'm not going to form it into a block just yet because we need to add some of that lovely glitter to it I forgot like I knew I would I knew I'd forget something I always do um, but yeah just a little not a great deal, just a little sparkle of gold glitter in there. 
and then give it a mix and then form it into a block. She says it's extremely sticky. I probably should have laid off doing the tutorial, guys, <laughs> thinking about it. I'm a little bit spaced out still, but I think it will all come together, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, dear. Okay. So, get the uh, clay and give it a good squeeze. The usual standard thing for Chippy Choppy. And then just form it into a square. I have literally got sweat pouring down my face right now and in my eyes. My glasses are steaming up. <sighs> what am I like? And I'm going to have a few people yelling, yelling at me for doing this, telling me I should still be in bed. But you know what? I've had enough being in bed, guys. It's been eight days straight. And uh, I feel like I felt well enough to do this. So there we go. Okay. Let me just give my hands a quick wipe. And I've got the worst ever wet wipes. They're awful. They're the Equate ones. They're so cheap. I hate them. They don't really do much. All right, so there's the first block. Just give this a quick wipe. And then we're going to go with the, the copper. And I'm trying to think... No, that's all I needed for that one. And I'm just going to add the liquid clay to that, just a little bit. I'm going to add the liquid clay to the other two piles while I'm at it, guys. I might as well, hey? And again, these just all need mixing and forming into a block. So instead of you watching me do three more piles of that, I shall do it off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my four blocks of Chippy Choppy. I'm just giving this one a little bit of an extra squeeze because it still looks a bit lumpy um, and I did forget to tell you but I added some of that blue embossing powder into this just a little sprinkle before I formed it into a block but that is optional guys like I say if you wanted to just give it a little bit of a speckled look you could perhaps throw in a little bit of um, chopped up um, pastel or something a blue pastel or something like that optional guys optional all right, so I've got my four blocks. They're going to stay as is, but this one is going to get chippy chopped up again. And as I like to call it, chippy choppy on steroids. So what I'm going to do then is cut this open and just start slicing back into it. So it's extra chippy choppy. kind of pile itself upon itself like this and we can actually just leave one little bit where we don't do that that can be thrown into the mix as well it wouldn't hurt But I'm just, you know, piling it on itself like this and chopping back through. Like so. And I think that should be good. And then just form it back into a block. Okay. Right, so we've got four blocks in this little bit that I just left and I'll just kind of 
reshape that roughly. Now this is where um, we start piecing it together a bit like a jigsaw puzzle and I forgot to mention as well that in a few minutes we're going to need some copper leaf again that is optional right let's start with this then um, let me try and think which way to chop this let's cut it lengthways in half so we've got two little blocks to play with now I don't want to keep it particularly in a rectangle shape I want to give it a, you know a bit of a random shape so just kind of mold it play with it whichever shape you want it to be so just kind of rough really guys not really doing what I want it to do <laughs> oh dear uh, just a random shape guys just you know <laughs> oh dear it's like why will you do what I want you to do <laughs> okay that'll do just a rough random little shape like that excuse me I've got an itch and then I'm going to take my translucent block I'm just going to give this another quick shape press and I'm going to cut this lengthways in half as well like so and that's just going to kind of, again, I'm just going to give it a rough shape. It doesn't have to be square. Just round the edges off a little bit. And I'm just going to then put that up against that, just fit it together somehow. And you can just manipulate it and curve it around a little bit. doesn't have to be perfect it's a stone after all and they're pretty random right then let's get this other little block I didn't make as much of this which is fine I only wanted a little bit of this in there let's just take off a slice of that and again just manipulate it into a rough shape and I'm just going to plop that there and kind of wrap it around like that. And then I'm going to take some of this gold, but I'm just going to take thinner chunks of this. And this is just kind of going to go wherever, really, just to separate one colour from the next. Let's take another piece of that and just plop that here. Looks like a dog's dinner, guys. It does. But it will all come together. Right, and I'm going to take this other piece of the green, which way do I want it to go, and I'm just going to kind of squash that in there like so let me take another little piece of that gold and just plunk that there and then I'm going to take the rest of the translucent chippy choppy uh, Actually, does it really matter which way I put it? That way or that way? I don't suppose it really matters. I'm just going to squash this a little flatter. Yeah, it needs to go like that. And put that there. And I'm going to get this other piece. No, I'm going to get another piece of this. I'm trying to keep the colours a little separate. So they're not all lumped together. 
it's just all about manipulating and I'm just going to shove that in there like that just separate that little bit there like that and that bit can stay where it is that's fine Ooh, still got a bit of gold you don't have to use all of this you could have you can just use whatever you feel like but I'm just going to use it all up I think <laughs> okay so just kind of mush it all together the best you can and it's quite a big block and now what you're going to do is just reform the whole thing back into a square like so and the beauty of this as well once you actually do take your slices you can manipulate it again into the shape you want it to be but I'm really getting it all pushed together nice now guys and that is one big block but then what I also want to do is just put a few little more inclusions in just some little lines running through so I'm just gonna cut straight down the center here Add some liquid clay. Try not to get my fingers too sticky. And I'm only putting the copper leaf on one side of the cut. sure you put some liquid clay on the other side of the cut so that the gold leaf the, the copper leaf will stick um, tweezers where are you because I know I've got really sticky fingers and I don't know where they are so I'm just going to go with my sticky fingers and hope for the best just plop it on there like so and piece it back together let's give my hands a quick wipe squeeze it back together now you don't have to do many cuts I think I will just do one more and that will be good so I'm just going to cut back through It just gives it a little extra something, a little extra sparkle. Oops, a bit too much there. And just plop some more of this copper leaf on there like so. This is a new um, set of metal leaves that I ordered. It, it comes in little tubs like this, gold, silver and copper. And the last lot I got, the jars are absolutely rammed full of the stuff. This time, not so much. It's like very thin on the ground. They really didn't ram a lot of it in there, which is a bit cheeky. How very dare they? Right, and then just pop that back together. Let me give my hands another wipe and then we can start cutting into this now, making some pendants. Just make sure it's all really nicely stuck back together. This 
is a huge block. <laughs> I think this is the biggest block I've made of this. I think I went a little bit too overboard with how much clay I used. Oops. Right. First cut then, I'm going to take a fairly thick chunk because I want a fairly thick pendant, fairly chunky one. I'm not going to make a load guys because I'm starting to feel a little spacey again now. So I'll just make a couple. Um, right, what am I looking for? My new crosses that Oh Joy Creations custom made me. I absolutely love them. So I am going to use these ones today. But obviously I need to roll this out so it accommodates my cutter. So I'm just going to give it a gentle roll. And now you can see those gold, those copper leaf lines showing through a little bit now as well. So let's just see if that's going to fit now. Just about, I think. Now, if you're not sure about, um, if you're not sure you can get um, a level piece just by rolling, then obviously you can use some measuring sticks or something like these. Again, these are in Joy, oh Joy Creations shop. Let me make sure I get the correct measurements this time. Not two odd numbers, so they're three millimeters, and you can just put those there and, you know, roll it until it's level but I want to keep them a little chunkier than that today so I'm leaving it as is try and get this in a nice place get as much of that lovely different colours in there Oops. give that a quick push So, and then just remove the excess. Now, don't obviously get rid of this. This makes amazing, just chippy choppy. You can chippy choppy it back up. It makes really nice um, makes really nice pieces. I can talk. Okay, so there's that piece. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a press because it's not quite stuck together. There we go. So there's that one. Let's try this. I absolutely love this one. This is my favourite. And like I say, Oh Joy Creations has them in her shop and I will leave a link for that in the description. Let's just cut another chunk. Oops. And you can roll it whichever way. You can roll it so you can stretch it out that way, or you can roll it the other way, whichever you feel like, really, to get a different look. Roll that a little thin there. Let me just put that up a little bit, level it off. Feels pretty level. I'm just going to cut this one out as well. I've got enough on there. I think it just about fits. So that's all I'm going to make on camera, guys. I will make some more and show you, but um, I'm getting tired now, so I'm going to stop there. Make sure this is nice and tidy. Okay, let's just lift this up, pop it on my paper. So there's two cool looking crosses with my faux prudent man agate. 
I'm just giving it a wipe with um, some isopropyl alcohol. Let's get that edge a little smooth. And like I say, I've made these quite chunky. That's just the kind of look I wanted to go for with these ones today. So there's two, in my opinion, gorgeous crosses. But obviously you'll see when they're baked. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I've baked these, sanded the edges so they're nice and smooth and resined the fronts. I haven't done the backs yet. I'm getting too tired and I haven't dressed them either. But there's one cross and... I absolutely love this cross I just love it so there's that one and then the other cross that I did same thing sanded the edges so they're smooth and resin the fronts I will just resin the back um, but I just haven't done that yet so there's that one and then I did another another shape again from Ojoy Creations um, and I rolled this out a little bit thinner and actually stretched the clay a little bit but you can see some really nice fractures in this one because I stretched it out a little bit more so there's that one and then just quickly another one that I did as well alright guys so there's the pieces um, I just want to uh, rectify something I, was, I said through the video that I've been using liquid clay which obviously it is liquid clay but I didn't specify that it was translucent liquid clay so just to um, put that straight it's actually it was actually translucent liquid clay that I was using um, like I say I haven't dressed these in any way but I have found these really beautiful chains off um, Amazon and I've got one in silver and also in antique bronze. I just really like them. So I probably will, you know, add a pinch bale and then a nice chain to go with it, like so. But that's all for today. I hope you understood it all. I know I was a little bit, ugh, because I'm still off. But there we go, guys. There's the pieces. So thanks for watching. And... I will catch you later. Bye.